Hey, this is Max. Welcome back to another CSR2 video. I'm here with the showdown for this season. This is the championship showdown. Uh, this is my second account of it. Decided to build a Aston Martin because my NSX was actually stock on this account. The Aston Martin, for some reason, I found I actually had all the stage sixes and enough fusions. Therefore, it was worth it to build it. it took me a few days, but I was able to get it together. So now I'm running the showdown uh, to try to kind of catch up to my other account, which actually was running uh, the maxed NSX as the only car of choice. This car, even if you don't run it perfectly, fully maxed will take down any maxed NSX as long as you don't screw up the shifts. Uh, what I mean by that is this car has an interesting shift pattern, right? You have to launch it slightly early right here and then you get your best run. But if you launch it right on perfect, you'll actually get a zero RPM drop and not get what you want. So it's it's a tricky card in a sense to use because any car with that zero RPM drop as a possible launch result, which actually hurts your performance, makes the card not as consistent. And in the end, consistency wins just as much as being able to go fast now and then. In fact, consistency is usually way better overall for progression uh, until you hit to the point where everybody's car is just simply faster. The NSX does not suffer from consistency issues. They, that car, you can launch it, you shift it right to fourth nitrous, and boom, you're done. Now, this one's rank 18. He can easily run a 10.8-something, um, and that means he can actually catch me at the end of the track if um, that car is fully maxed. And in this case, I, I kind of lucked out and had no problem. Now, I launched late that time and it didn't seem to have hurt the performance. Maybe I should change my launch technique a little bit and use a slightly later launch rather than trying for that early launch, which I've been doing. However, I do know that I have been able to get 10.6 runs out of this car with slightly off perfect launches that doesn't get the zero RPM drop. So it's kind of a still a uh, learning curve right now. So if I launch here or here, I should be okay. But if I launch right in the middle there, I'm not going to be okay. So I'm actually using a late launch this time again, just to test the difference versus a slightly early launch. Again, if this is more consistent 10.7s, Probably wouldn't hurt me until later on to figure out the exact perfect launch, but this this um, this car's got that tricky again that tricky zero RPM drop thing, which is really obnoxious. But it is a 10.6 car if you get everything right. Okay, so now let's go back to the slight early launches from before. Now, if you get a zero RPM drop, what really hurts you is the time. I mean, it's not going to kill the run, but it does make sure that you're only running like a 10.9 at that point. So this is early with the kickback. Um, again, if you do it just right, I know I can do 10.69s with this car, at least in my hands before, but if if your launch is slightly off, it just kicks that time back. So um, look at this run. It's probably still mid 10.7s or high 10.7s. That's not good. This, it should be much better than that. So I'm, I'm really kind of surprised that it's not doing it. So that again goes back to the launch point. Um, now if I go a hair later on the launch it'll make all the difference but the risk of getting that zero RPM drop becomes higher and higher when you do that. Now if I go much later I would kick past the point that works too so maybe I'll try that but not as late as I was launching before that's too late. Uh, so learning this launch point is the key with this car because the shift pattern itself is pretty simple once you actually launch the car. You just have to hit second and then nitrous. I mean, you can hit second at different points, but, you know, it's basically to hit second and then nitrous. Now, this time I'm going to go red launch. So again, this is going to be like a 10.8 run. Hopefully that NSX won't catch me, um, but let's see what happens. It's coming. All right, 817, so still not good. Not a good run with this car. 
having some difficulties here getting this um, pattern down. So late's not as good. I still don't like late. I know with early, um, depending on how early, it could it could really make a difference. But it, this this car, as much as it's pretty competitive, it's uh, just just kind of tricky with that launch launch thing. So let me let me try something a little different. All right, that is a slight release launch which hopefully put me in a slightly better needle drop position when I actually launched. Let's see if it worked. Because by letting go slightly, it tweaks the launch, which is that hair of difference I kind of am hoping for. So I launch a negative one, and it still doesn't quite get me what I want. Mm. Right now, 10.8 is still competitive, but it's not good. This car should be running at least 10.7s or better. So, um, it, you know, it, that's that's kind of frustrating. Oh, that was good. A perfect launch without the um, needle drop is exactly what I'm hoping for. I think this will be a decent run. It should be. Uh, doesn't mean it's going to be awesome, but it should be a decent run. Let's take a look here. 720, much better. Not great yet. Um, it could be better. 10.6s is definitely possible. But again, until you get this launch thing down pat, it's it, this is going to be your biggest frustration is trying to not get a needle drop and still get the time run that you want. Okay, so I'm going to try that same technique again. Oh, needle drop. See, that's the problem. Little, little bit off on that launch, just a hair, and I get a needle drop, and another guy beats me. Now, if that was going to be the case, it's almost better to just forget about doing this and go ahead and um, take the take the slightly worse run and still win. Then getting a needle, because I could beat that time even with a slightly worse launch than if I got the needle drop, because that's a 10.9 run right there. All right, so that technique is still tricky, but let me try it again. I'm gonna I'm gonna try this time with just straight up um, launching right when I see the red flash, and then driving it as perfect. As possible. This will always give me at least a 10.8. So this will make it so that the car is at least competitive against other NSX cars. Even with a little bit of upgrading on the NSX beyond uh, fully maxed, I still have a chance. If I get the needle drop, I have no chance. Okay. So 8.72 against my 7.83. Again, I, I should be doing 6.83, not 7.83. Uh, but until I get the pattern thing through my thick skull here and get it right, that's unfortunately the best I've seen. I've I've done a few 10.6 runs and then somehow I lost the I lost the timing again. So now I'm just struggling. Now this one should be a good run. I think that launch was good. Um, the shift is okay, and I think this should be a good run. Ah, still miserable. I'm not happy with this car. Too much work. Also giving me a mental block on how to launch it. I should not be doing 10.792s. I should be doing 10.702s. That's the average I'm looking for. And again, it, it all comes back to that launch. And um, I, I'm, I'm doing something wrong here. But it's getting to the trophy point range where I can't risk a mistake because I'll lose. On the other hand, I may want to risk a mistake just so I can actually run it correctly. All right, let's try a little bit later this time. I'm going to try a late launch. Yep. Needle drop again, not late enough. I'm going to lose this one. That's really obnoxious. Um, this is why this car, even if, if I could use it in live, I wouldn't because half the time I'm going to end up losing just because I screw up on the launch. Makes it not worth it. The NSX's advantage is that if you elite the NSX like 20, 30 ranks, you'll run the same times, 
Plus, it'll never get a needle drop, and it's super consistent. Um, of course, that's if you don't mind spending all your tokens for it, and you know. Okay, so back to back to this again. I'm gonna again um, using an earlier launch. So the earlier launch is consistent in the sense that I won't get a zero RPM drop. But the earlier launch always hurts my performance a little bit. I don't get as good a run. Uh, and the closer you can get it, oh, and it's void. Um, the closer you can get it to that near perfect launch without a needle drop, the better your time is going to be. That's how you get that uh, 11, 11, um, not 11, 10.66 uh, runs or 6.8 runs, whatever it is that's the um, best possible. But again, the, the risk between getting that launch and the zero RPM drop, it's very, very tight. So it's really difficult to do it consistently over time. And now, did I disconnect? Maybe I disconnected. Let me jump back out to the lobby and come back in. Because sometimes the server just kicks you out and you disconnect. Even though the other guy looks like he disconnected, it could actually be my end. And it's almost always better to just jump in and out of lobby once to keep going. Now, I'm pretty far up in the trophies, but at this point, again, the, I can't make too many mistakes. That's That's the issue now. And I really need to be able to run those uh, 10 point, low 10.7 to high 10.6 runs. Okay, still not connecting. One more time. I don't see a red Wi-Fi symbol on my account, so I don't think it's my end totally. It could just be right now the server's not busy, nobody's racing. You know, that happens. All right. Again, you, you're you're starting to face nothing but these guys, and you don't want to zero RPM launch it. Ooh, this one's tight, real tight. This is a race. I like this. This was a race. So, whew, wow. Okay, not the best run in the world, but. A win's a win, and I'll take it. And again, I'm just disappointed with these runs. Now, one thing I should do, actually, at this point is probably go back to uh, the Dino Garage and really practice a little bit and then come back. But um, I'll wait till I start to solidly lose um, to do that because at this point, I'm still close enough that it's worth just keep going for a bit. This is a rank 21 NSX. It'll run at least 10 eights. So it's going to be tricky. All right, this one, though, I think I did a pretty good run on the launch. So I'm just going to now watch him chase me down, which he's coming close to, but not quite, uh, which is exactly what I expected. Oh, and there it is. See, with the right launch, there it is, 10.673. Yeah, it took a NSX with the Elite to scare me into doing something right. But, of course, duplicating this has been the problem. I can't, I can't seem to get that because that's, that's basically a, a hair off from a zero RPM drop on that launch. And it, your eyes sometimes, it's hard for your brain to time that consistently every time. And I really don't want to get a zero RPM drop. So I've been error on the side of early rather than late. Oh, this guy is another one that's going to give me a hell of a challenge unless I get it just right. This is going to be even closer. Okay, so this time it's going to be, yeah, he's kind of, he's going to be coming really hard. Yep, there he comes. I'm going to lose. Ah! Again, that launch was not as good. And see, this is where even the Aston, as, as good as it's supposed to be, can lose um, just the same to the NSX. And that was a close run. I could beat that time, but again, I, you know, consistency wins showdowns. And right now, I'm not doing much in way of consistency here. So on with the show. Let's go ahead and take on some more people. So these are actually kind of cool now because they're kind of fun challenges. Ah, this is a standard NSX with no Elite showing. Now, if he runs 
faster than me, then I'm not going to be happy. Okay, so I'm trying to shift a little bit earlier into um, second because on my device there's a slight lag. Um, so when I shift, even though the needle looks like it's only at 6,000, the computer's probably reading it at 6,500 or more. So it's almost better for me to shift slightly early than later. Because if I shift perfect, I think it ends up treating it almost like I shifted late. Okay, 1677. Again, I'm pretty much getting to that point where any small mistake means automatic loss. Okay, so it's, again, this is all going to be in that launch. If I launch right, I'm going to be all right. If I launch wrong, I'm not going to be all right. And I'm not going to be all right. I launch wrong. Zero RPM drop. Just a hair later than I want it, and it's a loss. And again, that's, I didn't think I launched, I mean, you don't, it's hard to feel this. It's like, it's not like I felt like I launched late. I just see the needle drop and realize I launched late. Now, the other guy probably launched pretty early because his run is only so-so too. So it's not, this is again, this car, man, I'm not happy with it. I mean, I built it. I rather, if I didn't want to always save my tokens, I, I'd rather build the NSX Elite for this, but I don't want to waste it on one car that I don't use very often. To me, that's just not worth it. And the problem with the NSX is, I think it's been used, what, like twice so far in showdowns? That's nice, but it's not enough to justify um, actually building all the Elite levels, I think. it's To me, it's not anyway. Um, then again, fully building a new car for showdown is not really justifiable either. See, I know that the rank 20 guys run around that time. I just managed to beat them. Again, not the greatest run in the world. Uh, that that little bit off on the launch is still haunting me. I'm just going to, again, I'm just going to push it as far as I can. I mean, that's all I can do. So another rank 20, so another... Got to get this right moment. Come on, little car. Let's get this done. I don't even know what you think about this car as far as looks go. I mean, I, I'm not thinking it's ugly, but it's not as attractive as some of the other Aston Martins I've seen over the years. Um, for example, like the James Bond DBS looks great. This one, the, the way they redid the front, just, I mean, it's not bad looking, but it's not awesome looking to me either. And that side vent is a little weird looking to me. It's not, I don't know. Not not sold on the look. I mean, this mouth look and that little side vent, not sold on it. All right. All right. Whew. All right, breathe. No, no um, zero RPM drop, please. What did I do wrong there? I know I did something wrong because um, he shot past me after the... Uh, maybe he got a better launch, I think. Or I shifted out of first a little later than I should have. Close, but no cigar. Take a loss. Moving on to the next thing. See, that's a bad run. See, that's a pretty decent run. I should be running around that. Now, he has a different tune as well. I have 1349. He has 1441. So he's running a different tune. Maybe it might be better to run a different tune, actually, um, that won't get the zero RPM drop and still can do low. Eh, let's go. Let's go maybe take that for a, a spin here. So I know that you could retune this car for a little higher, a um, little bit higher Evo, which will allow you to potentially not get the zero RPM drop. Let's take a look at that and then. Because this one right now is the one that um, Zucar is using. So this is 10.969, and it runs at 10.66 if you do it just right. Uh, the top speed right here is 223, so you're looking at 223, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 gears. Or you can do 223 at 6 gears, but then you can, you're going to do one of these 
Now the guy was running a 1441 tune, which looks something like this, I would assume. And let's try this tune out real quick. If I can get more consistent launching without zero RPM drop and still run low 10.7, then it's worth it. Let's take a look. Now this one is going to run into six gear all the way. Okay, so same thing, three, four, five. Ten point eight oh four. Eh. So that changes something here. Maybe, uh, maybe let me let me try a different thing here. It might be a third gear nitrous now. All right. So I'm trying to. I'm thinking here. Right now, maybe I should launch perfect. Let's see if I can launch perfect without getting a zero RPM drop. Oh, wait, I still use nitrous in second there, but I shifted out a second pretty quick to let the nitrous kind of work in third a little bit. Let's see what this runs. Nope, slower. 10.859. Let's try one more technique. So again, you can play with this stuff on your own as well. I mean, the Zucar one obviously has its advantages. Uh, but it has its risks with the uh, zero RPM drop. This one obviously doesn't have a zero RPM drop and seems to be just as quick, you know, without possibility of screw ups. If that's the case, I'd almost take this one over that one um, because of that. Let's take a look here. 10.810, still kind of, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try little bit more changing here. Oh, see that? It still it has a secondary bump here. That's interesting. 10.759 in theory. Let's try this one. Again, these are all these are all possible tunes. So, you know, doesn't mean these are optimal for the best times. But if it's more consistent, low 7, ten, what I'm looking for is consistent low 10.7s. If I can get that, I will take it and run with it. And that one looks like you still have to go into 6, and that little extra shift might cost you. But 10.8, so let me see here. Right, let's try this. That gives it a little bit more top speed. And again, I'm hoping it won't give me the needle drop. That's what I'm really trying to avoid here. Another option may be to lower the grip on the tire, but let's play with final drive first before we get into that. Hmm, this feels like it's pretty solid in the way it's running. 222. So again, that little shift into 6 could be costly, but 10.775. Yeah, how about that? Now I can stay in 5th gear. So now I'm dyno in 10.6 and looking at 10.6. Maybe I can do 10.72s without any needle drop. Again, now I'm still looking at perfect launch all right so this time I'm just gonna let it run out in fifth because it should top out right around 222 three boom no needle drop though and what did it run good enough that's what I'm gonna go with because I'd rather have this consistency and not deal with um, the zero RPM drop. Let's go back to showdown for a few more races and let's see if I can maybe progress a little more consistently here. Maybe I need gas. Do I need gas? I need to look. I think I was supposed to add some. Well, good enough for this race. All right. So now things change. I now can take my chances of no RPM drop, hopefully, 
uh, which means I'm going to have a better shot at running a low time. Now, 10.66 is probably not, but 7s should be consistent now. Here we go. All right? So no problem now, just kind of running it through. Boom. Smooth. Nice. Maybe I got Zucar's tune wrong. Who knows? And what did I get? 10.734. Now, consistently doing this will get me further than having to struggle to hit those 10.6s. So I'm going to go ahead and run with this. This this is working good. And I may still be able to hit a 10.6 if I get it just right. Um, now, without the risk of 0 RPM drop, I can now play with this on the timing of that first shift to try to get the maximum I can out of this car. This is great. I'm happy now. Now this car is good. Even though I'm still not going to make it into the top 1,000, I can at least uh, be more confident that every run will be close to each other with that. Okay, so that's not perfect, but it's it's good enough. That few hundreds is good, but if you're going to lose races because of that few hundreds margin of a zero RPM drop each time, I'd rather use this. I just think that I just need to play with the nitrous timing a little to truly get this down pat. We'll have to see. So now I might actually do the first gear in perfect shift and then hit nitrous. A li so let's see, let's see. Let's get the launches down first and then we'll, we'll work on the next part each each time. Here we go. Staying ahead. And that's all I need. I just need to stay ahead by enough. He may edge up slightly, but not. Yes, another win. Now it's consistent. Boom, 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 boom. That's what I want. Don't have to be the fastest in the world. I just need to win enough to get to a certain point. Okay, so low 10.7s. No 10.6 runs out of this car, but you know what? I'll take the 10.7s for now um, because instead of getting 10.8s here and there, I'm getting nothing but low 10.7s consistently. So I will take this. Am I going to get beat now and then? Yes, but you know what? It's all right. Whoops. I screwed that up because I was not supposed to hit nitrous. Um, I, I, anyway. <laughs> Screw that up. Oh, man. I should have won that. Uh, I was thinking too much about nitrous timing. I actually used it too late. But it's okay. It's okay. Um, take a loss. Take a loss. Oh, yeah. Well, he did really good run anyway. So, see, see he's running the same um, same one I'm running. So, again, this I don't see this being a bad tune. If I'm seeing faster runs, somebody's going somebody's gonna to hit 10.6s even with this setup. I think it's just a matter of... Uh, figuring out the exact launch point and ship pattern um, to get dyno. Basically, all you're trying to do is get dyno. The other tune's good for live because it beats dyno, but this tune is just so much easier to actually hit dyno. So that one, it's a little bit later launch. I'm, I'm playing with the launch now because I know I don't get zero RPM drops, so I'm literally playing with the launch to see you know, early, late, what's um, potentially better here. Whew, barely got that one. Barely. Wow. I thought I lost. Actually, I was holding my breath. All right, so that's not good. Late is not good. So, again, still dead on perfect is probably best with this uh, no needle drop situation. So you launch dead on, and then the question is, should I shift out of, should I shift out of first a little bit quicker and then hit nitrous? To kind of get into, so let's find out. Let's let's try that out. All right, so that's a little bit earlier out of first. Still hitting nitrous after I shifted. Oh, this guy's quick. This guy's real quick. Woo! Blew my doors off. All right. High elite uh, level NSX. This is pretty amazing that I'm in, I am only at what like. 1700 trophies which is top what 6000 right 
So they're essentially in the top 6,000, there are that many fully elite NSXs or something out there. That's uh, pretty crazy. I'm, I'm thinking he's just moving up the ranks and I just happen to run into him. But if I start seeing a lot of them, then we know what happened. Okay, here we go. All right, so again, I just need to get low 10.7s is what I'm looking for. And as long as I'm ahead of the guy from get go like this, I know I got this. So this is this is much more much less stressful, let's put it that way. Cause much more consistent, much less stressful. I like this. I'm gonna I'm just gonna stick with this and see if I can get oh look at that. Seven oh one. Getting better, getting better. And I'm almost at that thirty five thousand. I guess that'll be the go. Hit the thirty five thousand. Get that. Get that RP. Come on, let's do this. Oh no, oh, rank 20. Eh, I have a chance. I can win this. I can win this. I just need to run that 10.7. Uh-oh, early launch. That's going to cost me. He's going he's gonna to catch me. I think this one's going to catch me. He's coming. He is coming. Oh no, I'm done. Ah, can't launch early. Got to Gotta hold my launch just a little bit later. I saw that when I launched. I was like, whoops, whoops, early, and you lose. Oh, he would have beat me anyway, I think. That's 692. I don't think I've hit a six anything yet. So it looks like 1700 right now is getting pretty tough. Seeing more and more of these NSXs with um, high-level Elite upgrades. Uh, this one's another one. Oh, this is a rank 20 upgrade, so I have a, I have a chance. So let's... Get this one. Ah, uh, now it's late. That's gonna cost me too. So I may lose this one too. I might be kicked back into the 1600s after this. And oh, so close. Did I win? Yes. Woo. That was a bad run, but I'm, I'm glad I got it. I'm glad I got it. Whew. Man, that was tight. All right. So this this 17. Mid 1700 uh, trophies taunting me. It's just like, you suck, man. I'm not going to let you get that 1800 because I'm just going to matchmake you with all these guys that can just slightly beat you. But it's kind of fun at the same time. This is challenging, which is definitely fun. It's more fun when it's not just too easy or too hard. Okay. Here we go. I, I should get this. Because once you're ahead of the other guy with the same car, with this car, you pretty much got it. Yes. Win. Okay. One step closer. One step closer. One step closer. 725. Look at, look at that. I need one more win. But if I take two more, one more loss, it would be two more wins. So it, it, that's the thing with these showdowns it can get real stressful when you're this close to something you want um, but hey just gotta just gotta focus on being consistent let me see ah yes this I have a chance so this one at least I have a chance now if he's good and he runs that 10.6s then hey look you know up oh, he's better than me he's ahead of me so wait no no yes no I lose Ah, ah, low sevens. I think for his run, um, he got a he got a really good launch on that. So hey, fair and square, he beat me. Right, ten point sixes too. Nice run, very nice run. So now I got to win twice more to get back up there. I have five pips of gas left for now, uh, but I'm gonna end it one way or the other in the next uh, two races. That puts me back at 56. One win will kick me up only a little bit. This guy could beat me. That's another 10.6 possible car. Right. So he's going to be coming up really hard and beat me right around the end here. Yep. I think he got it. That was too close for me to win. Yep. I lost. So now I'm bumping down too much. Um, I'm going to take a break, maybe play with the launch point and stuff a little more. He got me by a little bit, but that was, again, a good race. 
instead of uh, keep on losing, I'm going to jump back to lobby. Because usually if you take a break, you come back, you're going to get some different opponents. So hey, that's racing with the fully maxed um, Aston Martin Vantage Roadster. Again, the the other two can probably get that 6-6 six, six run, uh, which is nice. But once you go down to that needle drop right here, the problem is, well, you have a dino beater, uh, and it's good. The, the issue is that you're not going to be able to launch it without risking a needle drop, which is bad. So I'm kind of sticking with this no needle drop situation. Even if it's not going to win everything, consistency will still get me further than having needle drop every few runs that just kind of make sure that you lose. Hey, I hope you enjoy watching this. Um, let me know your thoughts about this car. I think, again, with the needle drop, it's kind of a inconsistent and not that great. Uh, overall, this car, is it worth it to build it just for the showdown? Well, in my case, I didn't have any other options, and I thought, why not? I had all the parts. But if you're newer and you're only looking at this just for showdown, you don't have much money and stuff, I probably wouldn't do it. That's, all, that's the case for almost every showdown. You shouldn't just build a car just for showdown. Unless you have money to burn and parts to burn. Okay, well, thank you for joining me. If you like the video, leave a like. And if you like my channel, please uh, subscribe so you can get notifications when I put up new videos. And that is the Aston Martin Vantage Roadster and Showdown by Max the Gamer. Thank you for joining me. I'll catch you next time.